30 or 40 different images in that in that folder. I don't want to bother putting a password in. Now, unknown device here and default monitor, these refer to the graphics devices, I believe. quite a few times so what I'm going to do now is uh, turn off that startup sound effect because it's annoying especially when you're making a video uh, just deactivate the event from here there we go now then um, things of note Windows 98 is now obviously installed uh, there are some problems with it one of the first problems is that we are in 16 colour mode, 640 by 480, and that's pretty much as good as it's going to get for now. Uh, we're on default monitor, standard PCI graphics adapter. There are two ways to fix this. One of them involves the VBE9X drivers, one of them involves Display Doctor. I have had mixed success fixing this with both approaches. But uh, the one I'm going to demonstrate is this. Um, you can get a serial code for this to register it wherever you normally get such things from. If you're having real difficulty finding one, then uh, I'll tell you where I found mine. Just send me a message. So that's that's problem number one. Now problem number two can be found in the Windows 7 Task Manager, which obviously is my my host installer. This is the VirtualBox process, and you can see it's using 50% of my CPU. Because it's dual core, I have another core which isn't being used because it's only single cored. But it uses basically all of the CPU. That's something I need to fix as well because it's crippling both machines to some extent. Now, the way I'm going to fix that is with this image I made earlier on. So we can uh, switch images. You may have to. If it's not already in your list, go to here and add it in. It'll be on the desktop. You just click that and add. Uh, so if it's not already there, then that's that's how you get it in there. Now, what I put on this disk, and I'll make the ISO image that I made available, uh, a link from the comments later, is obviously the VB9X drivers, Display Doctor itself, 7-zip, and Rain. Now, Rain will fix the uh, CPU usage issue. However, to get into that archive, I need to install 7-zip first, which won't take long. Finish that off. Then I can 7-zip, extract files, and I'm just going to put them on the desktop so I can get them easy in their own folder, which is as easy as that. There they are. Uh, we double click install. Now I have an AMD processor and the one that works for me is AMD K6. Obviously if you have an Intel processor then you choose something off this list. Uh, Google will probably tell you which one to go for if you're not sure about it. I have an AMD Athlon 2 something or other, 250 X2. Oop. Thank you for that. Uh, turn those sound effects down a bit. Jeez, they're already pretty low. Yes, thank you for that. Yeah, lovely. Um, our rain will not automatically start up again after installation. So, we go to program files, rain, uh, programs rain, and start it up manually. It will automatically start up with Windows by default with Windows 98. So it'll start up whenever you boot the virtual machine. <coughs> now if we step back out of the virtual machine and go back into the task manager, you can see that uh, VirtualBox is now not using any, really, any of my CPU. The reason I have two of these things open is because I've got this open as well. I'll close that down. 
then uh, it'll pop off again. So, um, that's, that's problem number one sorted. That's the easier problem to fix of the two main problems. Uh, Display Doctor was the next thing I'm going to install. And this should fix my graphics card problem. So we'll go through installing it. You know, you have to agree to the license agreement. I don't think anybody actually reads them. Express installation will work fine. It's nice and quick. It won't take very long at all. That was my wrist. Um, and we'll restart the computer or the virtual machine. Note, of course, that uh, because it's a virtual computer we're running, whenever it says you need to restart your computer, that does not mean you have to actually restart both computers. You just have to restart the virtual machine you're running. So uh, it's not really as arduous as all that. Log back into Windows. And two things will happen. Well, three things, because we had this open. Um, both Rain will start up, and SciTech will open itself as well. Now then. Um, the trick I found with this, as you can see, we're in 16 colours, so it's dithering the background in a horrendous fashion. Uh, first and foremost, I need to select my monitor with it. Now, I have a monitor for which there is already a driver present here. Uh, my monitor is a Hewlett Packard MX70, which is right down the bottom of the list. It's quite an old uh, CRT monitor. If you've, if you've got a monitor which is in this list, then select it. If you don't have a monitor in this list, then I don't really know what to suggest, but uh, you probably find that the default monitor will work alright for you. Now, graphics adapter could not be detected is a problem, and for some reason I don't understand quite why this happens, but uh, it doesn't want to work with the standard VGA settings for VirtualBox. And we've got standard PCI graphics adapter working here as well. Now the way in which I've fixed this in my installs, I popped out of there a bit too early, is to turn the machine back off. I've just closed VirtualBox's background. I'm going to need to turn it back on again. Um, so turn the virtual machine off. A lot of the time it'll hang at this point, so I'm just going to close and power it off properly. We'll restart VirtualBox so I can get back to this and go back into the settings of the VirtualBox that we're trying to configure and change the amount of memory from 24 to 32. You can change it to less as well, though if you start getting to too low, um, then you might get some problems. So I, I increased it from 24 to 32 and restarted the system. Now we'll wait for it to boot up, which doesn't take very long. I won't get the uh, prompt for which I want to boot up from anymore because I took the Windows 98 setup disk out and put my uh, my virtual disk in instead. Log back into Windows and this blows up to will pop back up again. And with a bit of luck and a prevailing wind. We now go to a site at Nicholas Drive, which I should have done before. And we want to restart the system. Now, I should have done that. I should have done that before I changed the settings, really, but it should still work regardless. Um, So have a look see here. What goes on now? And bang, there we go. It's all of a sudden detected my graphics device and has now crashed. Thanks for that. That happens a lot in Windows 98 as well. If you're trying to maximize a window or we'll do something, you know. Anyway, so it now knows what I've got. It says that this is the active driver, and then when you go in it says the active driver is SciTech. I don't know why, but uh, now 
we need to do a manual reboot. Uh, we shut down and restart it. You, you will have to reboot a virtual box with Windows 98 on it a lot. And I make no apologies for that, that's just the way it works, I'm afraid. So here we are back in again for what must be the 15th time already this video. And we'll go back into Display Doctor when it pops up. And hopefully now we can. Uh, let me optimize what we say, I think. Damn, I think it runs off the screen at this resolution. Start. Next. Estimate visual size based on display size. 14 inch. Next. Now, the recommended mode there was obviously not very useful. Just accept it. That's finished and done. Um, and again, we can't set anything other than recommended at the moment. There we go. I think another restart.